Hey guys, so today, as you know, because you clicked on the link for this, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Aramic lapel microphone, or also known as a lavalier microphone, which I just recently received. Um, I've been having problems with my sound because I was using my cell phone to record off of, and now I've got a DSLR that a friend lent me, and the sound is much better, but I'd already ordered this mic, so let's see how it goes. I'll probably still end up using my phone sometimes anyway, so... Let me unbox it and then I'll test it out for you guys. So here we are. There is the box. Let us commence with unboxing. The unbox. Oh, it's a little bit dusty. Get a nice little fancy leather baggie. Your phone microphone. You see, this is specifically for phones, but you can use it on DSLRs, yes. Compatible with DSLR or camcorder. Compatible with iOS or Android devices. New and improved audio, that's great. TRRS connection, I have no idea what that means. It's an omnidirectional condenser microphone. Designed for vocal or video use. It provides clear and accurate voice recording experience to the user. Let's see if it does. Let's open our fancy little baggie. See what's inside. Cool. There's a little connector thingy. Let's see. Okay, this must be the adapter cable. And this must clip into that, obviously. Um, a lavalier lapel microphone. That's this little baggie here. Cool, got that. Premium syntactic leather case. Premium. Four wind muffs. Four wind muffs. I see one wind muff and a little furry mouse looking thing. So that's two wind muffs. I guess I only got two out of the four wind muffs. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a crock. Not great, guys. Not great. Four label clips. I assume they mean lapel clips. There is one attached. And there is one in here. Oopsie. Okay, so we got two of the four wind muffs and two of the four lapel clips, it seems like. Well, that's a bit lame, Aramaic. So there it is, unboxed. Okay, so I have plugged it in into the DSLR with the little connector cable thingy and let's see how this sounds. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. She sells seashells on the seashore. Okay, so I just checked the audio on that clip and it's a bit intense. I have to admit it is a little bit intense. Let's see if I, if I clip it further down. Ugh, but that's so cucky with this freaking thing clipped in the middle of your chest like that's not a great aesthetic you know you have to admit it, it doesn't look great it doesn't really go with the outfit so i have a bit of a problem with that hmm. it's meant to be a lapel microphone if i had a lapel but it would be right here that would be that'd be really close yeah listening listening to the previous audio from that other clip I feel like this would still be a little bit too close to my mouth let's try the little fluffy mouse wind muff and see what that does for us here it is I'm gonna clip it on here put on our little mousey oh, so fluffy hello baby this one. Let me put it on here and see how that does. Does it take away some of that mic interference and like those gross mouth sounds? How does the sound? Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. She sells seashells on the seashore. Betty bought a bit of butter. I'm gonna be a mighty king so enemies beware. Well I've never seen a king or beast with quite so little hair. How does that sound? Does that sound better? And this is a pretty budget friendly option which is why I bought it. So let's go take a look what it looks like. 
Okay, so you can see that I'm currently wearing the microphone now. Uh, the sound seems to be much better. I have tested it and checked the video. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's test out what it sounds like with the wind muff on. Here's the fluffy one. Uh, let me clip it back on in the same place so that we have similar experimental conditions. Um, does this sound any different? Okay, so now I've compared the two muffs. Uh, this one is pretty good for blocking out wind and it does muffle a lot of the other ambient sounds. This one picked up a lot of my hair rubbing against it, I noticed, and my clothes or whatever interfering. So just be careful of that and be mindful of it if you do wear your hair down a lot or if you have necklaces or anything that might interfere with it. The cable is 1.5 meters. It's not very long. You tether to your device quite closely, so if you do get quite far from your camera or your phone while you're doing your videos, then this is probably not the mic for you. So that's definitely one mark down for it. Also the fact that I didn't get everything in the box that I was supposed to. It works for what it is and it was a pretty good price, so that's my unboxing. Thanks for watching. Love ya! Bye!